Despite being a relatively small country, Israel is the world's sixth largest arms exporter. The industry is one of Tel Aviv's biggest sources of income, but it's come under scrutiny recently with a report revealing that it's using the Palestinian territory as a testing ground for new weapons. Artis Paula Slayer has the details. I think there is a very uh, big elephant in the room in Israel, a very big fact in our reality which is seldom spoken about. And that's as far as most people go on Israel's arms industry. But how has a country the size of the American state of New Jersey become the world's sixth largest arm exporter? People don't really ask, why, why is it? Why, why, why the hell this small country it became such a superpower of, uh, of weapons? Joachim Feldman is a journalist and filmmaker. He recently released his award-winning documentary, The Lab, in which he argues that Israel's occupation of Palestine allows it to have such a prosperous weapons industry. What armies all over the world want are weapons which were tested on real, uh, so to say, guinea pigs uh, in a real conflict. And we have this live conflict. We have an availability of death, an availability of conflict, an availability of war. It starts with the drones. For decades, Israeli drones have been hunting for Palestinian militants and their hidden arms caches, making Israel the go-to country for unmanned aerial vehicles, soon to become the world's largest exporter. On the defense front, the Iron Dome system proved its capabilities in the last Gaza war, lining the pockets of the Israeli military-industrial complex. Nobody wants to talk about it because everybody is happy. The industry is very happy. It's a lot of money. The politicians are very happy. We have a solution. The IDF is happy. We have a solution. Years of fighting and close combat in Gaza and the West Bank have also given Israelis the edge. First, weapons like the Galil and Tavor assault rifles, and now something that even Hollywood is copying, a gun that shoots around corners. And as controversial as Israel's West Bank barrier is, its state-of-the-art security system is being copied along America's borders with Canada and Mexico. I think the Israel is the most uh, exciting uh, country because they are developing something, testing immediately in the field. So the engineering from the industry goes directly to the army and can see if the, what they develop is good or not. After three years of working on his documentary, Yotam is adamant. There is no weapon Israel is successfully exporting which the Israeli army is not using in Gaza and the West Bank. But it leaves the country with a lot to answer for. It's doubtful the hugely influential arms industry has an interest in peace, because for as long as Israel holds onto the West Bank and Gaza, it has a laboratory for refining, testing and showcasing weapons systems and an industrial military front that remains secure. Paulus Lear, RT, Tel Aviv.